um, thank you for making this uh, happening. I'm so proud to be with you as a part of this program. Uh, uh, my presentation or project is about uh, Africa's innovation diplomacy an analysis and roadmap. Um, I'm Heba Fawzi from Egypt. I'm a clinical pharmacist, graduated from German University in Cairo, a master's degree holder in uh, business administration major, health economics. Uh, I used to work as a coordinator in the foreign health relations and international cooperator, cooperation department in the Egyptian Ministry of Health. Uh, I got a lot of science diplomacy courses and diplomas fellowships from India, Korea, and South Korea, and Brazil. Now I'm working as an executive officer at the National Emergency and Public Safety Network. It's called NAS, uh, also in the same place uh, in the Ministry of Health. I will start with my favorite quote. Uh, it always seems impossible until it's done with Nelson Mandela. Uh, this is a small introduction, but I will make it short to save my time. Um, becoming a global uh, citizen for innovation requires a new vision, uh, exploring complex frameworks for growth and leaving no one behind. Um, officially, we are talking about the 55 member states of African Union. As a reinforced um, its attention for the fight for liberation and uh, apartheid, uh, which had been uh, the focus of organization of the African Union toward increased cooperation uh, and integration of African states to drive Africa's growth uh, and economic develop development. This uh, report or this presentation uh, prov provides an overview of regional and sub-regional mechanisms aimed at pro uh, promoting innovation. Uh, from the description, it's clear to continent. The continent means uh, Africa, innovation, uh, policy and framework has significantly evolved thus providing opportunities and platforms to build constructive and international part partnerships through uh, harnessing science and innovation dipl dipl diplomacy for a sustainable future. Um, here I will um, talk about the regional innovation mechanism. Here it's, uh, they include outer space, pan-African, E network established of the virtual university and continental free trade area. These sectors are seen to uh, be a key in enabling member states to achieve their development goals to ensure um, coherence and con convergence. These uh, frameworks has been captured in the priority areas of the first 10 years implementation plan. Um, here, I need to add something that this is an open data, but it's not um, uh, a fully um, free or uh, we can access to this data. Part of it will be confidential. Um, it's because, um, as I mentioned before, it's like uh, governmental uh, issues for each country. So uh, a part of it will be confidential and a, 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 a other part will be open data. Um, here uh, in April 2014, the African Union Summit, summit uh, adopted the science diplomacy, techno science technology and innovation in, Kai, in um, Africa. It's called STISA or STISA. Uh, the agenda uh, to be achieved, two points, improving science, technology, and innovation readiness in Africa, and number two, implementing uh, specific policies and programs in science, technology, and innovation. Here, the six priorities areas like eradication of hunger, uh, prevention and con control of disease, uh, communications, and production of our space, living together in peace and well creation. Um, next, here, um, these are two tables that um, it, this is initiatives related to STISA 
and established in uh, 2014. This one, table two, it's like four sectors uh, mentioned of initiatives related to STISA formulated by uh, African Union. Um, scientific and um, technical collaboration, um, it's like many programs like uh, SKA project, AF a AFRA project or program, the East African community. And these are like um, a brief about every uh, program or community economic uh, uh, community of east of west africa uh, indian ocean rim uh, association and last thousand uh, southern africa development community uh, the strength is uh, will be about two, three points african uh, countries has demonstrated and cooperation um, with policies strategies all together these are the strengths. Uh, there are clear steps in science, technology, and innovation problems. Uh, programs, sorry. Number three, the mechanisms has clearly articulated the region, uh, the region's vision and aspiration toward realizing knowledge-based innovation-led uh, economics. Weaknesses are two points. Science innovation uh, is is in in its infancy. Number two, um, it's like, let me clear it here. Yes, um, it's uh, with the um, low absorb absorptive capacity in firms, limited use of IP. Um, what else here? Um, they, they are not um, um, so um, um, into this uh, community of the African Union. So these are uh, weaknesses. And um, I'm probably, in my opinion, I see like the weaknesses are not uh, very effective. Uh, the strengths are has, the, they are more. So uh, the roadmap uh, proposal will be uh, six points, like increase funding for knowledge, enabling people to people contact, use a soft powers, uh, encourage foreign services, improve um, property legislation across the region. As a conclusion, these initiatives and however not accomplished by strategies to track and measure their impact on development programs. Fur further, it is difficult to measure innovation as uh, a standalone program without making reference to the other two aspects of science and technology. Thus, the region does not have innovation frameworks and more attention should be forced on the missing strand. These are um, the references that I have been searched for. And thank you, I finished.